I got a bunch of updates regarding AMD GPUs and then some updates regarding AMD CPUs as well as guess what? The high end version of the next generation GPU lineup of AMD. So let's go ahead and hop into the first article here regarding AMD Radeon RX 8000 RDNA 4 GPUs are going to be utilizing 18 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory across the entire lineup. So AMD is going to be sticking to the good old fashioned 18 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory solution for its next generation RDNA 4 Radeon RX 8000 GPUs according to the beloved leaker Kepler L2. So AMD is not going to be doing a memory spec upgrade on its RDNA 4 GPUs. Totally understandable because guess what? Nvidia is going to be releasing their 5080 supposedly going to be releasing their 5080 with 16 gigabytes of ram as well um and i did see so there was a comment the other day asking me about the the rtx 5070 and the rtx 5060 the only person that i have seen post any like specs on the lower end gp at least like full specs is the a channel his his channel name is graphically challenged he's a pretty cool guy and i understand he's he kind of like plays the clickbait game, but I do it too. Everybody does it, dude. Any successful creator on YouTube plays that game. It's just, it's a part of it. Don't hate the game or don't hate the player, hate the game. You know what I mean? You, you kind of have to do that on YouTube. You don't get the click, you don't get the view. You don't get the view, you don't get the promoted video. But anyways, um, so AMD doesn't really have to do anything as far as memory because NVIDIA is not even going to be doing that. So... Um, really, that's all I need to say about this, but if you want to pause the video, I'll go ahead and disable my webcam so that you can go ahead and read all of this stuff. But it's it really is just kind of talking about like what, like how they got the information and all that beloved, wonderful stuff. So I'm going to come back over here and re-enable this so I don't forget because <laughs> I will, in fact, forget. So this is the current lineup. And then the RTX or the RX 8 so far from what we know, there's the 256, the 192, and then the 128. So again, dude, this is what I was saying this the other day. Like we're, we're so back and forth with this. Like we, we get, we get one person saying, oh, yep, there's going to be a high end, whatever, 8,900 XTX. And then the next day they're like, oh no, but it's only going to be the XT. It's only going to be the 8,900 XT. No X, no XTX. And then the next day we're like, nope, it's, it's only going to be the 87. And then the next day is like, nope, hey, we're not even going to release new GPUs. AMD is just going to be like only CPUs from now on. And it's just like, dude, how about you just say what you think and don't like put the word leak right there. But it's just, it's your freaking guess. How about we just like be honest and say, I'm going to guess that this is what the next generation lineup is going to be. Not this is what it is going to be. Do you feel me? Um, but anyways, guys, I don't know, man. I, I personally, I don't think that AMD, I just, I can't see them doing that. I really just, I honestly just can't see them doing that, dude. That would be so stupid of them even if like even if like if if it's because they can't compete with nvidia right now it just doesn't make sense to me why they would not release a high-end gpu maybe at launch dude but like there's no way that they won't eventually release a high-end card it just it doesn't make sense to me but anyways let's move on to the next article the amd e epic 4004 zen 4 am5 cpus with 3d v cache have been leaked so you scroll down here, you got all these things. Woo! Pricey fella. And then come down here. So the leaked AMD Epic, I don't know anything about this, so I'm not even gonna pretend that I know have any even the slightest idea of what any of these numbers mean. So whatever, if any of you know what this means, I'll disable my webcam so you guys can read that. But I genuinely do not, I don't know what any of that is. But overall, I might, I actually may end up swapping over to the, uh, to, to AMD, depending on how Intel goes about releasing their 15th gen, because it is true, dude. Like I'm not saying, I'm not saying that like one company is better than the other. I'm just saying that I like some of the features that Intel offers for 
the creative side of stuff and productivity. It just, it benefits me and for what I do. I'm not saying that if you're a gamer playing video games on your computer, that AMD is not better because it is better. The 7800X 3D is the best CPU out, out there right now for gaming. Gaming. Please, please note that. Gaming. So anyways, let's get back to this article here. So the AMD Strix Point Ryzen 9 APU with 12 Zen 5 cores, 24 megabytes of L3 cache was spotted and it has impressive multi-core scores despite the 1.4 gigahertz of clock speed so this is actually pretty cool i watched this on uh ufd tech the other day he was covering something on this but dude i don't know what's going on with him and look i'm not again don't hate the player hate the game okay so i'm not like trying to be disrespectful or mean or anything to this guy because i watch him and i subscribe to him myself but and the only reason that I'm bringing this up is because of the stuff that's going on with MKBHD right now, where he was, whatever, accused of like destroying some company because he left a negative review of some product. And he was like, it's like, dude, if a company with a bad product is dumb enough to send somebody with millions of subscribers, <laughs> it's like, it's just the company's fault. Like how stupid could you be? Oh hey, here's my uh, here's my, my 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 notebook, cardboard box, of 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 a reminder. Here's my notebook. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead. Oh hey, MKBHD, do you want to review my notebook? What do you think he's gonna say about my freaking piece of cardboard? That's my fault for being an idiot reaching out to him. You know. Um. But anyways, the reason I was explaining that is because, dude, he doesn't. So. And the, the, when this, this became very abundant to me when he reviewed the MSI laptop because I was sent the same exact laptop and I sent it back to MSI because I was like, look, you can either like I'm not going I'm either just not going to make the video on this or I'm going to post a negative review because I don't recommend this laptop. And I, I personally just don't like doing that. And it's not because I don't like want to be honest right but it's because like why would i waste my time doing that like why would i do that it just doesn't make sense when you review something the whole um, and this is me just being honest right now okay every creator is going to do this when you review something guess what you guess why you're reviewing this it's so that you can make money from it okay so if you have a $5,000 laptop and you spend a few hours reviewing it, a few days using it, at the end of the day, dude, you got like, you just barely spent like 50 hours making a video for no reason other than to make the video because you made a video and now nobody is going to go buy it because you said it was a piece of crap. That's just me being honest, dude. There's no creator that would do that unless they're stupid and want to waste time so like i just sent it back to him but when he reviewed it and he said nothing but good stuff about it dude and i'm like how could you like how could you do that to people i just don't i couldn't I, that's just a fifty four hundred dollar laptop dude that's an expensive ass like if if you got a million subs dude and you're recommending a five thousand four hundred dollar even if you buy it on amazon it's like it's closer to six thousand dollars dude that's a big like that's a big like impact on somebody's wallet to like just lie about the review when the laptop is actually dog crap i'm getting way off topic we're getting back to the article you guys understand what i'm saying here um yeah, let's come down here to the benchmarks so i got way off topic there and again i'm not trying to be disrespectful or mean dude again i get it I, I really do and that saying is is super true dude you you can't hate the like you can't hate the player you have to hate the game because the player is just doing what the freaking game requires you to do <laughs> so i do understand it dude but there's there is the other option there you can just not do it right you can if there's a boss out in an open world and he's really hard and you're not a good enough level yet or some stuff you just say no and you go fight some other enemy until you can whatever whatever 
you find another enemy that'll give you some either the same loot or something better you know what i mean and something that you're a little bit smarter to do so again i was not trying to be disrespectful to him i'm just saying you can't you can't lie about something because that's a that's a huge impact on somebody dude that's a lot of money to lie about you know hence why i sent it back to amd but anyways guys this is looking pretty sweet and yes i know that this is this looks bad but you have to keep in mind this is like the 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 cpu is only running at 1.4 gigahertz um which i mean if you ask me that's that's pretty insane bro <laughs> so like we're like we're two-thirds of the way to the 89 is there 89 four whatever this is i'm not even i can't say that for some reason and then we also have the the 79 so we're running at 5.2 gigahertz and then we have down here the 2.0 and then 1.4 and like even at 2.0 bro look at that shit that's that's nuts look at that it's literally like two gigahertz and then 1.4 gigahertz we're like two-thirds of the way there that's crazy bro that's insane um let's move on to the next article the we got an, an amd radeon software update this is definitely uh there there definitely is what what's the game i'm thinking of hell that's the one i was thinking okay so the hell divers 2 if you have an amd graphics card hold up Boop. so I don't like how I can't highlight on the web. I don't know what the, why they did that on this website. Because I can't, I can't highlight anything. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and re-enable my camera. All right. So known issues. You guys get it. It's, an, it's just a driver update. I got way off topic on those other things. So I'm not going to get too far in, in depth in that article. It's just an update. So AMD's high-end Navi 4 times RDNA 4 GPUs are reportedly featuring 9 shader engines and 50% more than the top Navi 31 RDNA 3 GPU. So if you come down here, whoo, not even going to pretend to know anything about this. So if you know anything about whatever this is, hold up, I'm going to have to like zoom way out. Whoop. Whatever that is, you go ahead and uh, inform me of what this is. I mean, I can, I can see offsets. So they're undervolting or overclocking. No idea. No, 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 no. Let's go down. AMD made <laughs> the. All right, so we got. Where's all? Where's the? Where's the? Where's the, where's the freaking title? Come on, bro. Navi 4, Navi 31, AMD made two split configuration. So is that literally all we're going to be talking? Just you literally like said everything at the very beginning. So it has three ADR engines, three GDCs. Okay, here we go. So Navi 41 with Navi 31 configuration. We got nine shader, 16 compute, nine, 20 compute, nine, 24 compute. And then I don't, I don't know what this is. Again, guys, I'm still learning all this like computer science stuff. I run a PC building business. I don't run a, I don't run a freaking IT business. Okay, so I don't, there, I don't understand like the super in depth, detailed spec stuff. I just kind of understand. I understand the CPU. I, I understand the basics. You know what I mean? Oh my God! So this is what I was looking for. Thank you. Okay, so they actually did do a chart. This is honestly, this is why I love the freaking a lot of the time uh oh did really did i just the the video cards website they add charts like this um in like every single article and this is what i like to see because like like scripting it out and typing it like this is i it, it confuses me plus freaking i could just go read all that in in chat gbt you could just be like what is this boop and chat gbt will give it to me so here we go the rx 8000 you guys can go ahead and do your comparison here. I'm just going to go ahead and move on to the next article. What? Nope. The, we went too far. That was something that I was looking at personally. <laughs> Actually, I'll share it with you guys because it's kind of cool. Um, <laughs> so fan-made PlayStation 5 Mini is 75 or 70% 70 smaller than the original PlayStation. I just, I thought it was cool and I wanted to, I thought it was, I thought it was pretty cool looking. It's, it's, I mean, it's just a mini PC with a friggin' sticker on it, but still cool, you know? Dude, I really wish that Sony would just, like, freaking uh, 
bring all their games to computer i do i really i don't understand why they don't xbox does it and nintendo's just freaking nintendo they're never gonna like whatever they're just <laughs> nintendo is nintendo i don't think they're ever going to attempt to uh compete with anybody other than nintendo but anyways let me know what you guys think about this i think this is super cool well well playstation money i'd rock that wouldn't you you'd rock it you know you would but anyways guys that's gonna bring us to the end of the video let me know what you guys think about all this stuff again i know that it, like whatever again don't hate the player hate the game okay so if, if if the thumbnail has like 8900 xtx or something or it's like versus whatever freaking nvidia 5090 dude i'm just trying to grow my channel bro <laughs> but uh yeah let me know what you guys think about this peace